Hey there, it's Jumper and we're gonna start this video with a quick super super useful tip for which we're gonna have to do some soldering and taking the radio apart. So the whole thing is about wiring out the boot loader button to the shoulder button for convenience. And of course a small disclaimer here, you absolutely do not have to do this if you don't feel confident about it, it's done purely out of convenience. Because in the future, if you happen to need to access the bootloader button, you won't have to take the radio apart. And you can just access it by pressing down the uh, shoulder switch. It seems like we're done here, let's take a look again and put it all together. For our next step, let's open up this page and download the HTX binary. Let's save it somewhere else, for that I created a uh, folder on my desktop so it's easily accessible for me. As for you, you can do it your way or just do it the same way I did. After you connected the T-Pro to your computer via USB cable, you're gonna see two external devices, which is T-Pro and probably it's gonna be Disk IMG. So we're gonna use the Disk IMG as it's the SD card. And now let's copy our HTX binary that we have just downloaded. And after copying is done, you can just disconnect your radio. And next step is going to be putting the radio into DFU bootloader mode. Let's hold the trim switches inwards and press the power button. The bootloader has loaded and now we're gonna need to write the firmware, press enter and choose the correct binary file that we have just copied to the SD card. Writing complete, nice. Let's exit and the radio is going to reboot. Now to check if we did it right, let's plug it back to the computer and see what happens. Yep, we can see the USB serial debug, which means we did it right. And finally the last step, let's open Express LRS configurator and go to the git branch. Choose the master branch. In the device category, let's choose Jumper 2.4G and in device, please make sure to choose Jumper Aeon T Pro 2400TX. A very important thing here is to choose HTX pass through in flashing method. Let's click on build and flash. Now this process usually takes up a couple of minutes, so pay attention to the logs. And when you see this particular line, build environment jumper Aeon 2400T Pro TX via ETX, you'll need to press down and hold the bootloader button. But because in the beginning of the video we conveniently wired out the bootloader button to the shoulder switch, we don't have to do that, you just press down the shoulder switch and wait.
As soon as you see that the rising has begun, you can just release the button and wait till it finishes. Here we go, we've got the success message and that means that you've successfully unbricked your radio. As always, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Happy flying!